Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are well. I've been wanting to come on and do some videos, but as I've said before, got to take care of that physical and mental health. I've been hitting the gym, been trying to zen out, that kind of thing. So I hope you guys have all been doing really well. Please tell me in the comments below if you have any plans for the summer, what you guys been up to, how's your health, those kind of things. I'd love to hear about it. Um, I'm gonna try not to blab up too much. We'll go ahead and jump into the haul. I originally went to get some things for my mother-in-law. She was taking care of her mom in Columbia for about a month. So I wanted to make our care package when she came home. But of course I had to buy other stuff. Um, so I wanna show you guys what I found. So I found cool stuff. And the things that I bought her will not be in the actual haul, but I will insert a picture and mention them in here because I've already given them to her. So the first thing that I saw when I went there, I saw these cute little pumpkin dishes. The lid does come off. These are super cute. I wanna say they had like a gold one too or something or a silver. They had another color, but I wanted the white. The white is so beautiful. The white and the orange, they're both pretty pretty. Went ahead and grabbed them. I'm really bad about like decorating when the t like the times come, like when everybody else starts decorating for fall, I haven't even thought about it. So I was like, while I see it, let me grab it so I'll have it ready. Cause this year I want to go like all out for the fall and have pretty decorations. Also got to kind of be careful about what I buy cause I don't have a lot of storage space in my home, but yeah. So the second thing that I saw that was fall and um, decor related was this cute little leaf and it's got a little hanger on the back here. This was not in like the home section. This was in the crafter square section. Just be aware when you do go, like if you find these and you wanna get one, check this part, this little rod, because most of them were like broken and fallen off. This was the only one that it wasn't. So my plan for this, I'm gonna go ahead and take it, take my Cricut and put like a vinyl S on it and then I'm gonna hang it by the doorway for our keys for the fall time but you can do a lot with this like you can hang maybe a decorative towel or like some kind of little decorative tassel or something like that I mean I thought this was really cute for a buck couldn't really go wrong on that um the next things that I got uh, were kind of crafty items so <laughs> yes ma'am she's like losing her shit because uh, the guy from Blue's Clues, Josh, is drawing a piano on the notepad. But anyway, so I got these tumbling tower games. A lot of the YouTubers that do like the Dollar Tree crafts that I see, they do a lot of stuff with these. They make coasters, they make picture frames, they make trays, like all kinds of stuff. So I want to go ahead and get in on that. I do have one of the tumbling tower games. They sell them where they're like smaller, like half the size, but then I actually came across the big ones. I did not buy all of them they had. They had tons and tons. I got three of them. I did feel kind of greedy doing that, but I want to make some stuff, y'all. So I'm really excited about that. I think the girl that I watch a lot that does stuff with those is, I want to say she's called Glue Guns and Roses. She has a cool channel, so check her out. Um, so then I got another crafty type item. This is the Finger Protectors by Crafter Square. I know this is kind of a weird item. I guess you could use it as like a thimble or something, but then I feel like a needle would go through it because it's soft. But I got them for when I do like hot glue projects. I'm always like pushing down and burning my flesh and I would prefer not to do that. So that's what this is for. And you get three in a pack. The next thing, I got some pens I enjoy in the mornings. I've mentioned this before, I'm a nurse. So when I get report, it boosts my morale and puts me in a very good headspace to write in pretty colors on my report sheets. So I've tried their gel pens before and it looks like it's the same ones, but they tried to make it fancy and call them centicorns this time. But it's basically a purple, orange, and pink gel pen, and it'll, it'll probably smell fruity. It doesn't say what the... Well, yeah, there's pictures of fruit on here, so they'll probably smell fruity. And, of course, when I write on legal documents, I can't write with those, but just my for my little report sheets. The next thing that is kind of crafty-ish, organize-y, office-ish is this planner. So I saw a lot of people haul these. This is the design I chose. They had a couple other designs. Um, super, super cute. Says so much to do. 
It's a 2021 planner and it goes through 2022. It goes through August 2021, which is fine because we're almost out of July anyway, to July 2022. And it's really cute. It's got a lot of qualities that like a higher end planner would have. It's got like the smaller calendar for every month. And then also where you have more room to write the bigger sections. So I'm super excited to use this. I like a smaller planner because the larger ones, like where am I gonna put that? I'm not trying to like walk everywhere with a planner under my arm and you know, outside of my purse or whatnot. So this is convenient. I really like it. I'm gonna enjoy that. Would recommend picking one up. Um, so the next things, these are like really interesting. <laughs> I hope they work well. Let me take it all out. I almost didn't even see these. We're going to go into like cosmetic and toiletry type things. I almost didn't even see these. They were literally in like a plastic fish bowl on the shelf. And I was like, oh, snap. Um, these are the Vivid Matte Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And I got, let's see, five different colors. So I got, they have like this grayish color. Um, and these look really nice. I remember when these were a thing and they were out on the shelves. I don't know if they quit selling these or what. This is in Sinful Stone and it's gray. I'm excited for the fall time for that one. We have Pink Charge. We have Wicked Berry. And I remember these were like six or seven dollars. So for a dollar, if I even just wear them once, why not? Um, electric pink. That'll go with my hair. And then I won't I don't even know if I'm gonna wear this one, y'all, but I was like, I'm kind of curious for a buck to try it. This is Orange Obsession. So if you want to get these, just kind of look in the cosmetic section, look down and like see if there's any type of little bowls or bins or anything that they're in because that's where that was. The next item, I have tried this before, but it wasn't a dollar, of course. I paid full price when they first came out and I really liked it. I've recently thrown it away though because it was old, but this one is Lavender Crown, the Wet n Wild Cat Suit. So this will be another like nice fall time color. It's a lavender um, liquid lip. And I like the cat suits. They dry matte. They're really pretty. They um, they don't transfer very much, so they're nice lipsticks. I like them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try this. This is the Megalast Liquid Cat Suit Cream Eyeshadow, and this is Putty in My Hands. And I went ahead and got this one. It's a nude because I figured it would be a good eyeshadow base, basically, for the rest of my shadow to go over. So we'll see how that stuff works. I'm trying to get proficient in putting on eyelashes because I literally have no eyelashes. When I was really little, I cut them off and they just never, I don't know why, I don't, I, I don't know, I just, I don't know, but I did. I chopped them off and I want to start wearing falsies once in a while. So I got these, these are LA Colors dramatic lash um lashes they had different styles i got these in dainty but they look pretty cute i mean i'll i'm gonna see how they go they might look silly on me but we're gonna try i used to be able to put lashes on i quit doing it and we're gonna start trying again then we got i hope this works well um i went ahead and got a LA Colors Eye Marker. So it's basically a felt tip eye eyeliner. I've not seen these in LA Colors at the Dollar Tree. They usually have the pencils or like the um, the retractable pencils and then or like the liquid where you dip like the brush tip, but not a felt tip. So hopefully this works well. I was really mad because I bought twice, two times, the e.l.f. Um, waterproof like long lasting felt tip liquid eyeliner. It was like the best stuff ever. It was like six bucks a pop, not very expensive, but also not the cheapest, but it was great, 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 the best eyeliner. But the problem was there's some kind of issue with the cap. I would put the cap on like as tight as I could, put it on, then I'd go back in my purse later and the cap would be off and it would be dried out. It happened to me twice. So I was like, well, until they fix that issue, I'm not gonna buy that anymore. So hopefully this works pretty good. The next thing, um, Bolero had these um, facial mists and this one is in Rosewater Aloe. You know, I like my, well, 
sorry. You know I like my rose water and rose scented things. I did sneak and spray it in the store and it smelled good. I'm going to do it again. It's got like a small, like a slight floral scent. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. I also got my mother-in-law one of these and they had the wipes, the Bolero facial wipes to go with it. I got that and then what was the other thing? I think it was like a mask or something I got her. It, it was like they had all the matching things and I think I got her the, the little facial mask to go with it. And then they have these little tins of lotion, like these little round tins of Dove lotion. I got her that and like one of those loofahs that's on a stick and I put all that in her little care package. But I'll go ahead and put a picture in here so you guys can see. Next thing, I have bought this stuff for years and years and years. I swear by it. I love it. This is the Daily Defense um, Deep Conditioner, and this one's the Coconut Oil and Vitamin E. So basically, it's a hair mask that you use after you shampoo your hair. You use it, this says, two to three times a week, and you put it on your hair and wait three minutes and wash it off, but it comes in these little tubs. The coconut one smells really good and there's one in a pink tub called like, um, I think it's like argan oil or something. Either one of those, I mean these things are great. Keeps my hair like nice and soft. This one smells really good. So I was almost out of my other one, I needed to get this. Then I don't know how good of a deal this is, I just grabbed them because I needed them. This was a three pack of Simply Venus um, two blade razors. And I have, I did use one. I needed it the other day and they worked fine. I mean, I didn't cut myself and I'm queen of cutting myself up with razors when I'm shaving. So um, I guess they work okay. You guys tell me in the comments below if a three pack of these is good for a dollar. I assume because it says Venus and that's like a nice brand. Next things. So I got this Yardley soap, and you know, again, I love roses. This stuff smells so good. My whole car smelled like it on the way home. Right now, like the whole kitchen smells like it. I have a bar in my bathroom. When you walk in my bathroom, you smell it. It's like the best smelling stuff. It's called, it says it's a moisturizing bath bar and wild rose. I did try it in the bathtub. I did find that it melts very quickly. Like if you drop it in the water, it does melt really fast. Um, and it wasn't particularly like moisturizing on my skin, but it didn't dry it out either. And it smelled really good. So I would recommend this at least for a hand soap in your bathroom. That's what I'll be using this for. And another thing that I did try that I absolutely love are these facial scrubbers by a uh, April, April Bath and Shower. And I have it in there wrong. I used, they came with a pink one and I'm using that one currently. But they're these little silicone facial scrubbers. There's like a little bumpy end here. And then these are like little hair like um, little fingers here that are in silicone. This thing feels so good on your face and it helps a lot. Like myself, I, my nose, my pores on my nose get clogged a lot. So I just use this very gently, scrub my face twice a day and it makes everything really smooth and nice. I find that I like this a lot better than like a washcloth. So yeah, I would recommend definitely be buying those again. And my daughter likes to play with them, so that's fun. I did, hold on, let me reach across here. I did get my daughter a coloring book too. These next few things are things that I bought for my daughter. Um, it's basically different things with unicorn horns and it's by Crayola. It's really cute. She like, anytime I go to the Dollar Tree, I'll get her like an Elmo book or some kind of story book and a coloring book. So she'll enjoy that. I'll give that to her later. And I think that's pretty much it besides these last couple items. Um, the last few things I have are things that I bought for the 4th of July. We went over to my father-in-law's house and bought, brought my daughter's inflatable pool and barbecued. Um, I bought her these water guns to play with. She didn't really play with them. We just really squirted her with them. But you get three in a pack. I'm sure you can get a better deal at like Walmart or something. But for convenience sake, I was already at the Dollar Tree. I bought them. They probably like squirt about 15 feet. I asked my husband because he was standing on the other side of the yard and I was able to hit him with these and he said it's about 15 feet. So I think they're good for a buck, three of them. 
And I did get her, which I don't have with me. I got her some bubbles. They were like these little scented bubbles. If you see the ones that are scented, it comes in a thing about this big. Again, you can get a bigger thing, probably nicer quality bubbles at Walmart for less than a dollar. Um, convenient sake, we got them. And they worked just fine. They did smell good, kind of like artificial blueberries. She liked them. It was fine. Um, and then the last thing, this thing is so pretty, and I know it's weird to say, but it was this yellow beach ball. And this picture does not do it justice. It looks like some kind of boho ottoman. And you can, I don't have it. I left it at my father-in-law's house. You can kind of see in the picture, they have like these pretty sunflowers looking things on it. It is so pretty when it's blown up. My daughter enjoyed it. It was like a good size. You guys tell me in the comments section below. I was trying to figure out what I could do with this beach ball to like incorporate it into some kind of decoration for my house because it was so pretty. I was like, maybe it could be a pillow. It's a little too small to be an ottoman. I don't know. You guys give me some kind of idea. I know y'all are creative. Let me know. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the haul. I'm looking around to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I'm not, but that was everything. You guys comment in the comments below if there's anything y'all would like me to talk about and, you know, review for y'all out of this. Um, opinions I have about anything, questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, yeah, but whenever I get a second, I'll come back on here and do another video. You guys have a great day and thank you for joining me.